Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and I have a lot of empties products today. I've um, got a whole bag saved up here and usually if I have a chance to finish a product it really means that I did get along okay with the product and I didn't hate it so let's get started. The first product I have is the Shiseido Perfect UV Protector. It's SPF 50 PA++++. Um, it's very, very water resistant and I've been using this for the past few years and I've kept repurchasing it um, every summer actually. I think it's just the best body sunscreen because it's not very thick. Um, it's actually very runny and you have to shake it up and it makes a sound. There's just this little plastic thing inside and it's one of those ones that you have to shake up. It's easy to um, put all over my body and it doesn't have a really strong sunscreen smell to it. I don't use this on my face so I only use this on my body and I have another um, face sunscreen that I use. The next product I have is the Lush Celestial Facial Moisturizer. This is quite a good product for sensitive skin. I liked it and did enjoy using it so I was able to finish it up. It is an okay moisturizer, but I don't, I'm not sure if this is something that I would repurchase because I have a lot of moisturizers and I'm still trying to use up most of them. If you've watched my skincare video, then you know that I'm really loyal to the Curel line. So that's usually what I use unless I want a really potent um, anti-aging cream. And this isn't one of those anti-aging ones. It's just a really simple moisturizer. If you've never tried it, then this might be something that you might want to try. If you're really into Lush products, then this is something that you might like as well. Um, but for me, it's definitely not something that I would repurchase since I have so many other moisturizers to use. This is the Egg Mousse Pack from Too Cool for School. This is a Korean brand and this product has been really popular. It's been really hyped up. Um, I actually didn't like it all that much. I was okay with it, so I was able to finish it, but it's a little bit on the dry side for me. It's supposed to be just a, um, you can use it as a mask or a cleanser. So it comes out um, as a mousse formula and you can just put it on your face and it would immediately brighten up the face and give it a bit of a boost in the morning. It does do a bit of that, but I don't, really think it does wonders for my skin maybe because my skin is on the dry side and this is better for normal or combination skin so um it was all right but definitely won't repurchase again i have the hada lobo oil cleanser here and i did really enjoy it when i used it but i then found another one which is my newfound love this is the Biore one, which I spoke about in my skincare video, and um, I've been really liking this, so I've already repurchased this one. This is the La Mer, the Eye Concentrate, which I use around three to four jars already. Um, again, as I said in my skincare video, it doesn't really do wonders in terms of improving the elasticity around my eyes but it just works really well underneath makeup so that's why i've kept repurchasing it i just bought another eye cream and i'm still testing that one out so i haven't repurchased this one yet i've got a whole bunch of face masks that i finished up these are the innisfree ones which is a korean brand as well these are the it's real squeeze masks that i got from my friend um, and it, they're really good actually they're very inexpensive and also really really moisturizing so I think for the price these are really great masks. I have the Nivea Refreshing Facial Cleansing Wipes. These are really really bad especially because I have dry skin and this is for normal combination skin. Um, I really hated them but for some reason I just kept using it and I finished it up because I guess it was just really convenient for me to travel with but um, I definitely won't be buying these again. I, I haven't really had really great luck with um, cleansing wipes. So if anyone has tried really good cleansing wipes for um, dry skin, let me know in the comment section down below because I've never really found any that I liked. And most of them are very dry. So there's not enough 
makeup remover in them so I feel like I'm just tugging on my skin and just trying to like rub it off my skin so I don't really like these and will never repurchase again. I have a mascara that I finished up this is the Chanel Le Volume de Chanel it's very very good I really like it in terms of um, giving my lashes a bit more volume so it really does what it claims and it's one of my favorite mascaras so I will be repurchasing this and sometimes they have really cool colors. I do like the burgundy one. I don't know if that one is um, limited edition or not, but I really did like that one as well. But this one is the black one. If anyone is looking for a mascara that's easy to remove and also um, volumizes a lot, then um, give this one a try. I have the Be Live Off With Those Head Serum. This is one of my favorite serums and I've repurchased this three to four times already. It gives me a lot of hydration, but it also helps with the congestion around my T-zone area as well because I do have really blocked pores around this area and I do have blackheads as well. Um, it just helps with that without drying up my skin or without the need to use AHA peels. So this is something that I really like. I actually forgot about it and I think I will need to repurchase this again. I have the Glam Glow Super Mud Clearing Treatment. This is the white version that I spoke about in my July favorites. And this is really good in terms of clearing any um, blocked pores or decongesting my T-zone area again. If you have any mild acne or the occasional pimple, then this is really good. You can just sort of dot it on your pimple and the next day it would shrink significantly. Another makeup product that I finished up is the Lancome Seals Booster triple care this is my favorite eyelash primer I think it really does make a difference and I like this more than the Dior one um, I just think that it works better with um, the mascaras that I use I think sometimes with um, primers you really have to see whether it works well with the mascara that you use often when some people say that a certain primer is good um, you sort of have to know which mascara they used on top as well because some primers are better friends with certain mascaras and yes, that's just the way it is. I really enjoy using this one with my favorite mascara which is the YSL Faux Seal. Uh, they are definitely really good friends. And speaking of the YSL Faux Seals, I have one finished up. This is the black one and this is the Asia version. I'm not really sure what the difference is between the Asia version and um, the other version but uh, I really do like this one very very much because it's a really good all-rounder it gives me a lot of volume and also gives me length as well um, in terms of the way it curls my lashes it's not so strong in that area but um, I can give it a good curl after I let it dry and it does stay curled for the rest of the day so I'm not too bothered by that I have the YSL Forever Youth Liberator Serum here. If you watch my skincare video, you'll know that I use this every single day. It's part of my basic skincare routine. And I think it just gives me a really good boost of moisture. So um, I haven't really been able to find another serum that moisturizes my skin that well. So this is definitely a great item and it's definitely something that I would repurchase again and again. I have a body lotion here by Jill Stewart. This is my favorite body lotion ever. Um, it's just a really thin textured lotion, but it offers a lot of hydration. So again, it's the same as what I put on my face. I don't think that the thicker the cream um, means the more moisturizing it is. Um, so I can even use this in the winter time and it smells really, really good. It, I, I'm not really good at describing scents, but it's sort of fruity and floral at the same time, but it's not very overpowering. I'm not into really strong scents because especially for body lotions because I have to sleep in it and if it's too strong then I won't be able to sleep and I also get headaches from really strong scents. 
So if you can get a hold of Jill Stewart items, I do really, really recommend this. This is definitely something that I love very, very much. And I've repurchased around four to five bottles of this already. And it's not the cheapest lotion ever, but it, um, after I put it on and I take a shower in the morning the next day, I do feel that it has fully absorbed into my skin. And... I don't feel any residue on my skin the next day so I don't really like the creams that I put on the night before and then when I take a shower in the morning um, it all just washes off I feel that it's still there on top of my skin so this doesn't do that and I can even get away with using this every other day because it keeps my skin moisturized for the next day as well so that's why I think it's worth the price tag. I have the CE Ferulic Serum by SkinCeuticals right here. I talked about it in my skincare video. Um, it is part of my basic skincare routine and I use it every morning. Um, this is just something that I use all the time and I will keep on repurchasing. If you want more details on this then watch my skincare video. I also have some shampoos that I finished up. This is the Rebrand. It's a uh, Japanese brand. I'm not too too familiar with them but I got them as a gift. I have the shampoo here and the conditioner here um, and it's just so this one is supposed to be really moisturizing and I guess it is but it's just a bit too heavy for me and it sort of weighs down my hair so I don't really like shampoos like that. If anyone has any suggestions for really thick hair um, chemically treated and very damaged and dry hair then let me know in the comment section below because I haven't really been able to find a shampoo that um, I really love so I just sort of keep on trying different ones but shampoo is something that I will definitely finish up even if I don't really really like it I will still finish it up for some reason but it's not the same for skincare because um, it's a little bit harder for skincare if I don't like it then I really can't use it because it's going to make me look really bad um, but I can live with a bad shampoo I have another shampoo here which is by Lazulite um, this is the instant weightless and oil control shampoo this is also a Japanese brand and I use this um, once a week or on the weekends to thoroughly cleanse my hair and to get any excess products or residue off my scalp and hair so that's why I wanted something like this but I would definitely not use it every day because it is um, an oil control shampoo so it can be a little bit drying but this one is not too too drying so I was okay with it but um, again it didn't really give me um, really really good results so I'll definitely be trying different shampoos. Next, I have a perfume here this is by Hermes and it's part of the garden collection and this is one of my favorite ones this is actually a alcohol-free perfumed mist so I don't know if you can see but it's it's it actually looks like milk it's white and it's alcohol free so I use it all over my body as a um, sort of a body spray and I can also use it in my hair so sometimes if I don't have time to wash my hair the next morning and I just feel like I just need some sort of a pick-me-up or I just want it to smell a little bit more fresh then I'll use this this is something that I will repurchase because I really really love the whole garden collection and all the scents from it and that is it for my empties video. I hope I didn't bore you out too much. And if you enjoyed this video or if you want more videos from me, please hit the like button below and also subscribe. I will see you next time. Bye!